at him. What are you doing in here? My job. What about you? I... I'm sorry, but I wasn't questioning you. It was meant to be jovial. I guess I need to work on my timing. Anyway, I'm leaving a message for the director, asking if he's heard from Vince Black, our organized crime division head. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy. Kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why well, stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Lyon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Is there anything in Black Psyche Val that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take. I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Manderley? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderley are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderley came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so if you'll excuse me... Delara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. We need a timeout. A temporary separation of the classes. So we can clear the air and reevaluate how we can coexist. I need somebody over here.
stadium play. Adam, Janus heard the NSN conversation we recovered. He agrees you two should meet. Good. Just tell me where. There's an abandoned tourist information center in the central plaza. Make sure you're not followed. And I got something on Marchenko for you, too. Details are on a pocket secretary near the meetup point. Look for a trash bin with a chalk mark above it. You'll find it near the metro. Got it. Been waiting all day. Let me know if you see him, okay? His entire right arm was. Money up front. Whiskey. My favorite color is black. Talk about and one thing. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobramila. Please, you. No, you you are too. I'm sorry. I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. I know about your meeting, and I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is, I know what he does, and I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Has something happened to him? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was why I was here. It wasn't a total shot in the dark. You're obviously not the valley. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. But I should be more discreet. We're both should. What kind of trouble are you in exactly? Vince wanted me to tell information about my husband's operation. Valesta runs a... It's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please, I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? We should talk somewhere else. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks. Shikashka. Go before me and I'll meet you there. I don't want anyone to see us walking out together. You sure you'll be alright until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon, I promise. Larry, there. What is it, Adam? Any word on what happened to Vince? I just spoke to his contact. A woman he was supposed to meet to get info on some Diwali op. Problem is, he never showed up. I have a really bad feeling about this. Do whatever you can, Adam, to pick up his trail. Let's hope he's alright.
I want to make sure I wasn't followed. I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Blaster pay. Blasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Horse. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself. And then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for our new life. Vince and I were still... negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities? How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But... I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting... I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Would you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Lester knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... this monster. I want him to test failure. To have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. What you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. Alright, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Here, this should be enough to get you out of here. Alright. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. Why not give up? Delara. The Diwali op Ventures digging into. I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Uh, maybe he's... Still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you... came by it how, exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find.
What are you doing? Get the gun out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? If Blaster sees you, he'll... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta is not my friend. He's... he's a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Last is my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Gollum was hell. It is hell. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. If you believe that, then you have to leave. I promised Vince I would follow the rules. If Lester finds you here, he'll get paranoid and call off our deal. And then he'll call Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlaster. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Davni Obvut. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know, please. This is my ticket now, do you understand? Promise me. I didn't come here to get in your way, to keep people like you from escaping places like Gollum. Then walk away. I never have another chance like this. I've given them everything I have for this one shot. If I get recaptured... It's Blaster! Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is come that on, come I won't be on any of them. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? I'm just here to see my friend off, make sure she's in good hands. As long as I have no reason to worry about all of you, you have no reason to worry about me. See her off? This look like an airport lounge to you? I didn't tell anyone. I swear. Whatever you're going to do, Vlasta, do it quick. I don't like surprises. When people break my terms, it makes me want to break things. Or maybe not break them, maybe strip them down, sell them for parts. You're a businessman running a business, Vlasta. Part of that business is built on getting people like Olive out of places like Gollum, places like Prague. Only way for you to maintain your reputation here is to fulfill your agreement with her. Wrong. My reputation is built on people not fucking with me. People not wasting my time. You should both be dead already. The only reason I'm holding back. You should both be dead. The reason you haven't shot me yet is because you know gunfire will draw the attention of every cop in Prague. That's why we both need a way out of this that's quick and simple and quiet. He's right, Vlasta. Okay. So let's say I'm in a hurry, and that I'm not eager to attract the attention of the police. That doesn't mean I have to take all of you with me, or that I have to let you walk out of here alive. There are quiet ways to kill a man. Trust me, there's no quick and quiet way for you to take me out. Your only efficient solution is Olivier getting in the truck and me walking away. 
She won't be a problem because she gets what she wants. And I won't be a problem because I don't want to jeopardize her. All right. We'll take all of you to Rabia. Like we promised. And I like the idea of never seeing you again. You lock away and you don't tell anybody about any of this. Because if anything goes wrong, if I regret this, she's the one who's going to pay for it. For your sake. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Thank you for that. It's been a long time since someone did me a favor. You're not out of the woods yet, and I think you know that. I'm giving you a way to contact me, if anything goes wrong. Hey, lovebirds, we're on a schedule. Let's wrap this up. I'll be fine. I promise. Here. I was saving this for when I got to Rabia, but I think you should have it. It's the least I can do. My only chance. Unless you can get me to Rabia, I don't want to hear it. Vince. You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he... Yeah. <sighs> he should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once, sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Be careful out there, Adam. Mm. 